Another really great way for you to organize your guest list is to choose the columns that you want displayed. So currently by default, you're going to see the first name of your guest, the last name, their RSVP status, the stationary status, the list that they're on, and their dietary requirements. But let's say that at the moment we don't really care about the stationary status, we can make that disappear by clicking this option here. And let's say that we want to see which side the guest is on. By checking that option, now the stationary column has disappeared and you can see the side that that particular guest is on. As you progress and get closer to your wedding date, you're probably going to want to see different columns. So you can always come to your guest settings and choose the options that you want to see. You may have noticed that we have RSVP responses here, which is a lot of fun because the main RSVP status of whether the guest is confirmed or they've declined will be displayed in this RSVP column. But we'll dive into this a bit deeper, but we've got a RSVP form builder inside of the platform where you can create your custom questions. So we've got a default one here, which is, you can change this if you want to, but just for fun, we've got a question that says, what's the best piece of marriage advice that you've heard? So this is a question that would be asked to your guests and they would fill in their best piece of marriage advice when they're filling out your RSVP form. So if you wanted to display this in your checklist, you would just need to check this option and we've got an enter a custom label option right here. So what this text field is, is the header of the column. So as you can imagine, this sentence right here is a bit too long for a column header. So you can make something shorter. So for example, we would say this column is called marriage advice. So once we've done that, now you've created that column or you've made this column visible inside of your, your guest list. But at the moment, no one has responded or no one has RSVP to our wedding yet. So that's why this column is blank. But as your guests start RSVPing, this is some information that you can display, which is a lot of fun when you start getting closer to the wedding date.